How can we help you? Can so-and-so help you? What's up? What is wrong with you? Here's the great news. It works. All right, I'm gonna share with you how to share metrics with your team. So we get a lot of feedback from this because the newer agency staff is different than the OG staff. You might've heard me say this before. I call the OGs, you've been in insurance for 15 years, your original gangster. You remember times where we were using carbon paper, the world was different. And today the world's just very different, right? But you're sort of been through it, have the confidence, know what to expect, been there, done that through hard and soft markets. You're just OG. And the newer team is coming in different, right? Sometimes they're a bit younger. They have different skills. They have different value sets. And sharing metrics is very, very, very different for both parties. And I'm going to take some broad-based generalizations here, okay? So don't, if you're in the these brackets, you're like, that's not me. First of all, really think, is it? Is it really not you? Okay. And then also think, okay, it's really not me. I'm not the norm. So when you're sharing metrics for the first time, one, you want to understand the metrics and you want to feel confident in them. So you probably need to look at them for about two months to make sure you understand them in and out. That's number one. Once you understand them, now it's time to share them with people. I like to share them individually. So here's your metrics. Let's go over them. Again, that might take four to six weeks for everybody to get comfortable looking at them every week, ask the questions, maybe make some behavior modifications so the numbers are more accurate. That's cool. And then the next step is showing them publicly. And when we show metrics publicly, people get a little nervous, right? If I have the most overdue activities, there's a moment that the agency has to step up and say, how are we going to do this? Is it Sally? What is wrong with you? Why did you have the most overdue activities? Or is it, hey, look at this. Great news. So-and-so's off the board. They've really been working on it. Congratulations. Okay, let's talk about some of the people here. Let's talk about, is there ways we can help you? How can we help you? Can so-and-so help you? What's up? Oh, I was out for two days. I got walloped. Okay, let's go ahead. Can anybody take three, four activities so that she can get caught up? That shows leadership that you're not just saying, here, you're drowning in the middle of the ocean. Could you please describe the water? You need to pull some life raft up. Now, if the same person is on that board every week, that's a different one-on-one -on -one conversation. As you share metrics, there should be heavy celebration, heavy teamwork on how to address them, and celebrating when we hit certain goals. There has to be goal setting and targets. But don't be surprised if people aren't like, yes, please show me the numbers. A lot of people are very fearful. It's like when you go and you're trying to lose weight, right? And everybody's got to see my weight. Oh my gosh, that's overwhelming. But here's the great news. It works, right? When you know that you have to go there, you're going to watch what you eat. You're going to exercise more because it's that accountability. And that's what we're talking about here today. Sharing the metrics shows accountability in a new level. And that's truly what we're trying to get you guys all to think about. So when you're sharing the metrics, follow our tips and tricks, and you'll have far more success.